My lord. You must go no further down the road, madam. Warwick's men wait for you in ambush. It is my duty. My brother has sent letters desiring to see me. Your brother is dead. Dead? But the letters? Forged by my lord Warwick. He has put the child Jane on the throne and seeks to entrap you while he may. Those forged letters were the bait. So I beseech you, go not a step further. Back now to safety. Then you can raise the eastern counties to your cause. This will mean blood. Peace, Father. Have I not courage to shed blood if it be my duty? In God's sight I am queen. And in his name will I raise my standard. You have earned our thanks. Let the torches be put out. We ride back. Tomorrow we hold council and shall be proclaimed queen. Cousin, you have done that for which I as queen can have but one answer. There must be no shadow of doubt in the mind of any that for high treason there can be but one punishment. You wish my death? I do not wish it. You are young and I think less guilty than those round you. But though I may feel pity, I can show no mercy. But my husband, what has he done? He is your husband. It is part of which makes his case the poorer. He had no choice. I have no choice. The security of my kingdom demands that he shall die. Why must you all build your greatness on the graves of others? Why cannot it be triumphed without suffering? Child, you speak out of your ignorance. You forget the verities of government. If I should spare your husband and yourself, there are those who would lead an army on your behalf, and then two thousand would die in place of two. Still no word from the king? No, Your Majesty. No answer even to my letter? Nothing, Your Majesty. How can he so utterly forget so much? He does not forget, Mother. He just has no wish to remember. But rumors from court say that all is not well with them. Still no sign of a son. That woman is in despair, they say. For already my beloved father's eye has started to wander again. Oh, poor Harl. Poor Harl. You pity him. Was I not his much-loved wife? And you are his daughter. Unless he has a son of a true marriage, you are his heir. You must be queen. And remember, when I'm gone, you are first. Oh. Doctor, quickly. Your blessing, sir. My confessor. Yes, yes, by all means. But he's in prison. Oh, we'll let him out. You shall have all your old servants about you again. Yes, you're a very good and obedient girl to write to Charles as you did. You didn't write to him apart from that, did you? No. You haven't ever written to him? Never. Forgive me. I gulled you. I... I'm too weak. I betrayed you. Forgive me. Give me, Holy Mother. Give me. I believe we must congratulate you, Master Seymour, on being appointed to the Privy Chamber. Not only that, ma'am. I'm to lead the rebels. <laughs> You're a kill, Mary. So pale. My teeth hurt me, sir. How long have you been in chapel? Day and night, I suppose. God rest you, Mary. He's asked to see you alone. And so, my lord. Madam, you are his sole heir. Oh, I shall, my lord. And honor him as king. <sighs> Do not weep. Oh, my lord, live many days yet. Don't leave me alone among my enemies. Well, well, so oh. I see that my brother is dead and that I am now queen. 
No other reason would bring you on your knees before me, Master Cecil. Madam, I and have news I never doubted I'm... that you would be the first to turn your coat and come running to me. You defied the council, but you were not punished. You were allowed the use of your conscience. But mine is the true faith. I would gladly have died for it. Would you die for the Lutheran heresies or the abominations of Calvin and his brothers in Christ? Did I not help you with your study? Play with you? Ease your pains when you were sick? You look at me with the eyes of your mother. Who said of my mother, she will be my death or I hers. And when my mother lay dead and they took her heart from her body, they found at the heart's center a black and terrible corpse. This lady and I are the daughters of that king who made himself the supreme head in earth of the Church of England. That king is dead. I will not have title of supreme head of the church in England. I adhere to the true church. She will never confess. But she shall not inherit. I swear she shall not inherit. I will bear a son. I will bear Philip the son. To treat her gently as her rank demands. She is the illegitimate child of a criminal who was punished as a public strumpet. She is no sister of mine. She shall not inherit this realm. She has bewitched you. Do not desert me. I live only for your company and for your safe return. Acknowledge the succession. I will die first. Can this be my little cousin Jane? Mom. Well then, embrace me. And if I were you, I'd take care, little cousin Jane. These are my prisoners. Honest men, incarcerated by my brother's officers. But by the grace of God, and in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, they are prisoners no more, as no man shall be, if with honest heart he spurns all heresy and does confess the true religion. So, Excellency, I... Tell me, I... I wonder if these children would be less a threat if they embraced the true religion. I am going to meet my husband. With whom I am in love. You see? Most wondrous news. Indeed. We do thank God for this, our most happy condition. If she were brought properly to trial, she would not be found guilty, and we would all be condemned. She has many friends in Parliament. My sister was born of that whore, Anne Boleyn! She was born a bastard! She will never rule England! Your Grace will find some proof of her treachery. I am most sure of it. When I look at you, I see nothing of the king, only that whore, your mother. <laughs> My father never did anything so well as to cut off her head. Why will you not confess your crimes against me? Because, Your Majesty, I have committed none. <laughs> you speak with such sincerity. I see you are still a consummate actress. Madam, you are not well. <laughs> they say this cancer will make you queen, but they are wrong. Look there, it is your death warrant. All I need do is sign it. When I am gone, 
You will do everything in your power to uphold the Catholic faith. Do not take away from the people the consolations of the Blessed Virgin, their Holy Mother. I promise <laughs> to act as my conscience dictates. Do not think to be queen at all. You may return to your own house at Hatfield, but you will remain there under arrest until I am recovered. For the love of God, sign it. Will you leave your kingdom to a heretic? Father is in no condition to ride at all. We must put a stop to this. Never stand between the king and what he desires, Mary. Your costume for the mask, Elizabeth. It's strange that you should choose to be a swan, sister. Surely a hare would have been more appropriate. Your mother was so fond of them. Hares are the sign of a witch, are they not? You think to torment me by calling my mother a witch? I said no such thing. I think that's quite enough discussion about the mask, Mary. As you wish. Sister, you should have come to me instead of questioning the servants about your mother. There's so much that I can tell you now that you are older. For instance, did you know that she was buried in a small chest? Somehow, father forgot to order a coffin. <laughs> the chest was too short for a normal person, but of course she fit in perfectly. They could put her head right in on top. Elizabeth! What is wrong with Elizabeth? I do not know. We were just talking. She admits her vile tongue. Father, you would be most forgiving indeed to overlook such blasphemy. I heard no blasphemy. Beware the candy tongue that laps on royal boots and through its sugary slime conceals a black heart. With your word, the bugle would sound. You're very kind. But no, Ambassador. I'll not give the word. Your Grace. I believe you have something to say. I acknowledge you as Queen. And your unborn child as the one true heir. Replacing me. And I pray for you both that it is a prince. I'm pleased to see you here. And are you, Your Majesty? I recognise that it is entirely down to you. The King has accepted me back. But this I shall be forever in your debt. What of the Church? I have heard of uprisings in York, and I fear the King will retaliate. Quite the opposite. Master Ask spent Christmas with us. The King has agreed to his every demand. Bloody Mary came to the throne in 1553. She burned hundreds of Protestants as heretics and died embittered and unloved in 1558. For I swear before God, I never practiced, counseled, nor consented in any conspiracy against you. Enough! She has made fools of you. This is just more of her tricks. She thinks if she buys time, she can soften my resolve. Now the tide is lost. There is another tide at dawn, Your Majesty. We can... Transport her in daylight, so her followers may abduct her, mount another rebellion in her name. Must I think of everything? It is my wish that you take charge of her interrogation in the tower. Do not fail me again. Prepare his execution warrant, now, today. But I beg you. 
tell me what it is I have done to offend you, so that well, I please are as insincere as they are tiresome, sister. And it is God you offend with your charade of purity. But I'm trying to learn its ways, with your help, with your good guidance. You think I don't know hypocrisy when I see it. But you can fool me as you do others. Not enough that my mother was left to die alone in exile, while yours stole her place in our father's favor. That I was forced to wait upon her as a mere servant. Must I now endure the deceit of her daughter, too? I had hoped my marriage would bring me comfort. Companionship. But thanks to you, it has imprisoned me. We cannot walk outside the palace walls without fear for our lives. In time, the Protestant heresy of our father will be a ghost in the people's memory. Until then, your confinement will continue, somewhere less public than the tower, out of their sight and out of mine. I know of no Queen of England save my mother. And I will accept no other Queen except my mother. Is it done? Is the harlot dead? I don't know. But certainly she will be dead before very long. The Lord is good. And that she means to restore your grace to the succession. And Elizabeth will become a bastard now? As I have been a bastard? Yes, Princess. Since you will not submit to your father, he may yet proceed against you for treason. No. No, he would not. I, I cannot believe it. Father. Yes. Father. Some people may think that frivolous in the consort of a king whose flesh is also sacred. If his majesty thought me any frivolous, why did he marry me? You are thought capable of bearing sons. Unfortunately for all the king's attentions, I see you are still not pregnant. In any case, he will soon tire of you. You'll see. You're jealous because you're much older than me and you're still not married. How dare you speak to me like that? By act of parliament, you and I are both restored to the succession. After Edward and his heirs, of course, the king himself must have commanded this. Are you not pleased, Elizabeth? Think what this means. Yes, Mary. If you are pleased, then so am I. It means that the king loves both of us. If I had been a boy and not a girl, none of this would have ever happened, and England would still be faithful. I'm a lot older than I was when I first knew you. And wiser. I do not know if I shall ever be married. Or if I will ever be queen. Probably neither. But if I do become queen, I swear to you now on the Holy Gospels and on the soul of my mother that I will make England faithful again. I will do whatever it takes. I will burn however many heretics I have to. I will spill as much blood as I have to to make this unfortunate realm Catholic again and heal it. So help me God. Madam, your daughter should sit. Stand up straight. This is Master Cromwell. Inducing the king to describe himself as the head of the church. The Pope is the head of the church everywhere. The lawfulness of all government flows from the throne. The throne. Will you not sit down, Princess Mary? It's just the heat. Well, I think he means to hunt out of Chertsey for a few days. With the woman. The person. Your Highness will be going to another palace. 
He has chosen the moor in Hertfordshire, which, as you know, is very comfortable. It was one of your cardinal's houses, wasn't it? So it's bound to be lavish. Miradme a los ojos. Llamadme bastarda. No costará que os llevéis de esta corte la promesa de hermandad con mi primo el emperador. Que él corresponderá sincero. Tal es su deseo de concordia con vos, que como lazo os entrega a su hijo. Europa entera parece empeñada en casarme. Un hombre, al fin y al cabo, cuya compañía no sé si me será grata. ¿Cómo es vuestro príncipe? Piedoso. Decidido pero seguro. Aficionado a la música y gallardo. <risa> Creeros es cuestión de fe. Solo bajo estas condiciones ha aceptado el Parlamento inglés nuestro enlace. Temen que, de tener vos más poder, mi reino quede sometido a España. Mi herencia es colosal. Santa Ricardo. Descuidad. ¿Hasta qué os pida que dejéis de serlo? No permitid si os place que los próximos reyes de Francia lo sean también de Inglaterra. ¿Dais por seguro que no podré dar los hijos? ¿Dónde están nuestros hijos? ¿Dónde están? ¿Cómo engendrar de un marido ausente? Maldición, arrastramos las reinas de Inglaterra. Sé que tenéis razón. Sé que nombrar a Isabel mi sucesora alejaría el peligro. Alteza. No sabéis lo que ha sido mi vida. Qué pecado he cometido para que Dios me castigue de tan cruel modo. Me juré, me juré, desde muy niña no padecer los tormentos del amor y ahora... Ahora me hallo junto a un esposo joven y vigoroso y yo sin cabeza ni voluntad. Cuando muera, el nombre de Calé aparecerá grabado en mi corazón. Fetch the ambassador back here at once. He's denying a direct request from the Queen. He will not come. He sees no queen here. You forget who you're talking to. It's all right, George. The girl is grieving. Loss makes people forget themselves. You have no love for me. That much is clear. But perhaps you will show a little more respect to Elizabeth. You are a member of her household, after all. You know nothing of respect. You jumped into your lady's marital bed and then danced around in yellow silks at her death. You think I don't have correspondence at court? I have more friends than you know. Cromwell himself sent me this. It belonged to my mother. Although you would know that, of course, having served her so many years. Come, George. We should be getting back. The king never likes to be without me for long. I'd like the princess to spend some extended time at court. I'll send Madge to fetch her. That way we can both see our daughters. Give Cromwell my thanks for his efforts, won't you? He tells me he's working hard with Chakrid to secure my succession. The throne will be mine if you're as barren as they say. Why did you bring us all here? What do you mean to do to us? Is this it? The king is dead. Look <laughs> into the pond! It's outrageous!
find me. You are upset. You know Edward loves you. But hates Catholics. Death to the Pope. We'll end up like my mother. Banished and alone. Or perhaps like yours. It's a sad fate for a woman that displeases a Tudor. May I escort you back? I'm in no need of an escort. Are we angry, Mary, about my marriage? Sir, I have no opinion on who or what you marry. You are of no consequence to me. It's who my father's widow marries that I have an opinion upon. Your actions are hurting me and the crown. You have to convert to the true religion. Else? Else? And you want me to choose between my king and my god? I was chosen by god! No, I'm angry because you have allowed what I told you would happen to happen. I know you think yourself cleverer than me, and in truth you may well be right. But even the cleverest need learn, and for that they must listen to those with experience. Trust me, sister, I have plenty. I wish I'd listened. To you, to Catherine. No, oh, her hand was well detectable in that letter. I sent it without her knowledge. You were in her household. I did much without her knowledge. Don't say that. That's exactly what they say of you. What is there to her? Don't tell me. I'll tell you all. Confide in God and God alone. He's the only one you can trust. Not you. Others will always seek to use us. You, me, and our brother. They wish us to fight it out to the death and hope they're standing behind the winner at the end. Don't hand me the power to destroy you and then ask me not to use it. I believe you would resist. Maybe I'm more like you than you realize. I too can give in to temptation. 